What's going on, guys? This is Lab. I'm here with Miss Karen Ashley, better known as Aisha, the second Yellow Ranger from Mighty Morphin. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, awesome. It's an honor to meet you. Um, Thank you. You're one of my favorite Yellow Rangers. Yeah. Aww. So, um, has everything been good here this weekend? Everything's been awesome. I love Alabama. Everybody's so nice. Was this your, was this your first time in Alabama? It is. Oh, yeah. Well, check. That's one of the states I needed to check off my <laughs> list. Well, welcome. Um, hope everybody's treating you with Southern hospitality. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. I know. I talked to David earlier. He said y'all have been looking around for and stuff. Mm -hmm. I told him that y'all should check out you and they and the lions because you know they have live lions. On That's what we heard. We heard that. That's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah. I, that would that would freak me out. But it's so cool all at the same <laughs> time. Uh, it, it's, kind of, it's kind of weird at first, but you know when you get up close, like it's like oh wow, you know you just can't believe it. Yeah. You know, it's just like they're just there. <laughs> <laughs> so. um how did you hear about Power Rangers back in 94? Oh yeah, yeah, 94. I was actually, a friend of mine had called me and told me that there was an ad in the newspaper and they were casting for this show and I was already acting and, and auditioning and doing all that stuff and she said, you should go, you should go, they're looking for teenagers and uh, teenagers with attitude. And I was like, oh, well that's me, of course, <laughs> yes. But no, I went to an open call audition. I literally heard about it from her. I didn't even know what Power Rangers was because at the time I was graduating high school so it was like I was trying to get into college you know I was taking my SATs I wasn't thinking of uh, you know uh, of a TV show but needless to say I went and four days later they flew me to LA to audition for the producers and that afternoon I became a Blue Ranger who knew so four days <laughs> my life changed yeah and it was funny because I had just said I was going to do a year in college in Texas, and I was like, I'm going to move to L.A. I decided, you know, a couple of my friends were going to New York, and I was like, nope, I'm going to L.A., and, and I was just waiting to do my first year in college, and I was going to go and venture and be in L.A., so I got to move sooner than later, and, and it was great. That's cool. And I think I saw something on Facebook like a couple of weeks ago. You used to be like a music group. Yeah, yeah. I had just, and it's funny, it was perfect timing because the group kind of had just ran its course. You know, we'd been signed to A&M Records for about five years and we had done quite a number of projects and, and it was a great experience, but it was kind of like we were all kind of going our, our separate directions. and. So it was it was perfect timing for me to start my new venture. Like I say, everything just falls in place. Exactly. And it, what's funny is when I was in the group, I had my first audition. And that was, we auditioned for Sister Act 2. And so that was the moment that I knew, because we got the script and we had to like learn our lines and they had to tape us. And it was like this whole process. And I really had to like, you know, uh, prepare for that. So I was like, I really love acting. Like, I realized I love music, but I also really love acting. So I knew at that moment I was going to be an actress. I just didn't know when. And my whole move to L.A. was to go and become an actress. Like, I was going to do that. That's yeah. That's, that's pretty exciting how stuff just happens like that. You know? Uh-huh. So, um, so you became Aisha. You know, um, I, I'm pretty sure they didn't tell you like when you came on set that y'all would be replacing y'all also. We didn't know that until we got the part. But once we got the part, they did tell us. They said, you know, you're going to be doing the movie. You're going to be the three new, three new Rangers. We thought when we were auditioning that we were joining the cast. So we thought, oh, they're going to add three new kids, and you know, now there's going to be nine of us. Um, but no, we knew at that moment, and we were just like, oh man, you know, obviously big shoes to fill. But we were so excited to be on a television show. We're so excited to get our chance. Of, of filling our own dreams as actors, so we were excited. Like the, the nervousness lasted like a couple seconds, and then I was like, "Let's do this! <laughs> I'm ready. This is what I've been waiting for." You know? Yeah. So, what was it like filming in Australia? It was amazing. It was amazing. I mean, Australia is one of the most beautiful countries you'll ever you'll ever go to. And if you ever have the chance, do it. It's so amazing. So for us, it was kind of like an adventure within an adventure. You know, we were completely sent to the other side of the world literally um, but it was kind of cool too because now we were in a place that we didn't know anyone all we knew were each other and so we honestly that was when our, our friendships I think really built because we'd only known each other for a month like we've been on the show and we shot 20 episodes really fast and then they shipped us to Australia so that was kind of the time that we you know uh, uh, filming doing a film is a much slower pace so it was a lot of sitting around and waiting and, but we got to really become friends and really get to know each other and, and it was just awesome yeah. So, I know that Catherine Summer, she's from Australia. Yes. Did y'all 
like meet her <laughs> while y'all were in Australia? No, but, came back to the yeah, one of the producers, he was there most of the time that we were shooting, and I think he fell in love with Australia, fell in love with the people, and I think at that point we knew that Amy Jo was going to be leaving the show soon. We knew once she, we got back, she would only shoot so many episodes and was going to, you know, uh, make her exit, and so I think they just thought, well, how cool would it be for us to find an actress here? You know, this is someone who's kind of out of the loop, someone who, you know, um, is, a, you know, just a, an actress she'd find in Hollywood, and, and she was so sweet. I was so happy they did that. They're filming. <laughs> Sorry, I knew your sound would be, like, shot. <laughs> so, um, were, like, Jason and... Uh, David and Amy were they like Menu helpful scary, like the yeah. first came on set. Yes, yes, they were actually very helpful. And it was really cool because they were super excited for us to be there, and they, you know, it was like a new, be kind of a, a new beginning, breath of fresh air, so to speak. You know, when you change up a cast, it can it can go either way. But I think the whole cast, the whole crew, was just very positive about everything, and they were like, "Let's do it, let's see," you know. And once we got to know each other, they we all became, like I said, really good friends, and and they knew that you know we. We've been chosen out of thousands of people, yeah, so we we really earned our spot. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I know it's like ah, we're being attacked. So, um, <laughs> you left at the end of the third season. Yes. Um, where you just doing other projects. That and you know the thing is, we had a, a great time on the show, and it was amazing for us to work with the cast and for us to work with all the different people. But our boss, everybody knows, like they were not very fair with the cast and they weren't very fair with us and we weren't always treated the best so for me it was like okay I'd done season two I'd done season three I did the movie I had kind of had enough and I was ready to just to move on to something else yeah so would you have thought that the show would have lasted over 25 years no no I mean it's crazy because like people always say you know, how did it feel to be like someone tagged me in something, and it was like I was I was doing the hand and footprint. They go, did you realize you were standing sitting on top of the world? And I was like, no. Like people say that to you, and people go, oh, you're on the number one show in, in the world, and it's in 40 countries and 20 languages, and you're like, what does that mean? Like that's like almost too hard to like even comprehend. So then we couldn't even understand it. So now it's like 25 years later. I mean, I remember 11 years ago I started doing Comic Cons, and they were like, people want to meet you, and I was like. Do they even know who we are? Like, it's been so long, you know? Because at this point, it's been like 15 years or something since we've been off. But um, but no, it's like the Power Ranger fans are the best fandom because they never let it go. They never uh, stop loving the show. They still watch it regularly. So it's it's just amazing how loyal they are. You know, like, myself as a fan, we appreciate, you know, you all coming out here just, just to, you know, take time to just do little things like this, you know? Me myself, this is like pretty big for me because I have I met like a few rangers and stuff, but it's just it brings out the kid in me because yeah. it's just it's just like a fanboy moment, you know. Yes. I try not like to show it. I try to act cool about it. I know it, he's but, cool as a fan. <laughs> he's cool like, as a fan. When, right when now. we get in the car, getting ready to go back home. Like, oh my god, I met, her. I met her. I met her. I met him. Oh my god. I'm I can't out. believe it. Yeah, no, it's. It, it, but you know what? We see it in your eyes. Whether you can play it off or not, every single person that walks up to the table, they literally become whatever age they were. So if you were five years old, it's like your eyes just light up. It's like we get that moment. And I always tell the fans they leave that with us. That energy is so positive and so loving, and, and we're very blessed to get that. Yeah, we're, we're grateful for you all, too. Um, I forgot the question I was going to ask. Um, oh, um, so we've seen... Actually, we just seen um, Rocky and Cat come back after yes. you know twenty years. Of yes. Being gone from the show. Yes, that was cool. Um, do you think Aisha will make a return anytime soon? I don't know. I, I'd never say never, but you just never know. <laughs> we we seen Rocky and Adam back. You know the Stone King kids. Like, yeah. Aisha? Yeah. yeah. It's like getting in love. Yeah. I know. <laughs> well, you know what? They've asked me back, but they never <laughs> set it up to be a good deal for us. And obviously, I've got a, a, a life, I've got bills, I've got, you know, you got things going on in your life. Power Rangers was a long time ago, so for me to go all the way to New Zealand, it has to make sense. And then I feel like, 
you know, if you're going to take me back to New Zealand or you're going to take me back to the show, you guys have been waiting 25 years. I don't want to go back and just stand there and go, right. You know what I mean? And not that I'm like some Hollywood actress, and but I feel like there should be a true storyline. You know, and I love what they did. Like Jason Font and some of those guys were really featured in this episode, and I give them kudos for that because that's what the fans want. The fans want to see those characters come back to life and actually be a part of the story and, and help the new team and whatever mission is, is happening. So if it's presented that way and we actually have a good storyline and it, it makes sense financially to fly to the other side of the world, I'm there. I'm there all day. It was, it was actually pretty cool to see Catherine and Steve actually come back for some yes. after so long. It's like when they said like, oh, Mighty Morphin Red is gonna be back. Everybody was like, oh, is it chasing or is yeah. it Rocky? And they was Rocky. And I was like, oh, wow. He was, they were so excited. It's funny because we knew about this. Um, probably like a year and a half, two years ago, we knew that they were doing it, and I was so excited for them. And I'm so excited the fans loved it. And that's the part that I love, that it was really, truly an episode where those people that came back, they were immersed in it, you know? I just wish it was like longer. Yeah. Like it should have been like a three-parter like, yeah, or something, like, right? Like, like, it's like, it was like over time it started, so it was like, yeah. but man, it was still cool to see them back. You know, nice. Girls, how, maybe, you know, maybe we'll see Maybe, maybe. Next five you never know you never know <laughs> they always plan these reunions so hopefully they'll, they'll do it again and, and it'll be great it'll always be great right <laughs> well thank you again for doing yes. this interview um really it's a pleasure to meet you um i hope you have a great trip back home thank you so, um enjoy your time here i know you're probably going back to later on today mm -hmm. um just take your time you know enjoy the the view and everything here. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful, quaint city. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>